intra-abdominal hypertension is defined as sustained intra-abdominal hypertension of 12 or more millimeters of mercury. Now, the abdominal compartment syndrome is defined as sustained intra-abdominal pressure of 20 millimeters of mercury or more and a new organ dysfunction. So this is what makes ACS different from intra-abdominal hypertension is the presence of a new organ dysfunction. Therefore, you can say that the abdominal compartment syndrome is a clinical diagnosis. Now in the exam, if you're concerned that the patient has an abdominal compartment syndrome and you want to manage it that way, that is considered okay as it is a clinical diagnosis. On the other hand, if you're not sure, you can always gather more data such as measurement of abdominal pressure using a Foley catheter called the urinary bladder pressure measurement. What we need is a three-way Foley catheter. You connect it to a manometer. The pressure is measured at the end expiration uh, position so that all the abdominal muscles are relaxed. The transducer is then zeroed at the mid axillary line. Now, once you developed uh, this plan and you have diagnosed the patient to have ACS, you can do the following measures before you take them to the operating room for decompressive laparotomy. Decompressive laparotomy will be the definitive uh, care of plan. The steps of the decompressive uh, laparotomy would be simple as you basically take the patient to the operating room and if you had made a previous midline laparotomy incision, you open that incision. If you have not made it, you make a midline laparotomy incision. It should be a generous incision and make sure you don't close the fascia and they get a temporary abdominal uh, closure using a uh, aptara wound vac or any other source of uh, covering that can be utilized. Now the other measures that uh, you can instill before taking them to the operating room are number one, if you think that they have a distended stomach or a large colon on the extra of the abdomen, you can place in a Foley catheter uh, you can uh, decompress their urinary bladders, you can decompress their rectums placed in a rectal tube, you can decompress uh, the stomach. The other thing you can do is you can scan them and if they have ascites or hematomas or abscesses, that can be drained. So that reduces the intra-abdominal pressure. The other thing you can do is you can increase the abdominal wall compliance. So make sure they have good analgesia, you can sedate them, you can paralyze them, and all these uh, maneuvers may help. But in the exam, the definitive plan would be a decompressive laparotomy in these patients.